Take like a sex drive. We like to call sex drive an engine of productivity. It used to be that if you wanted to have sex, you had to work hard and have something to get a man to let you marry his daughter, right? right. And then, then there was, there's been prostitution for a long time. But even when there was in like kind of modern Western society, it was like over there and it was dangerous. It wasn't the best woman and you're probably going to get stabbed or jumped or whatever. Right. And so you would go over there. And then, uh, then you could get your catalog that gets mailed to you. And then there was porn magazines at gas stations behind this. And then there was stuff online. And then it's like free because right. they're getting like ad revenue off their clicks. And, and then that is removing a man's desire to, it's like sapping. I think this is where E. Michael Jones is right. One of his insights is this is how status governments um, pacify men, right? right? But it used to be that it would drive you to do things. So a sex drive, a desire to be fruitful and multiply when it is ordered according to God's purpose for that fruit, which is to fill the world with worship, with worshipers. So... Pornography is the morphine drip of uh, sexuality. Yes, exactly. So it numbs them. It takes away everything. It's the guilt, the shame, but also don't give your strength to women, my right. son. Right? But that's not don't give your strength to any woman. Just not that type, because right. it follows up with this is a sort of woman you want to give your strength to to a woman that multiplies and glorifies. multiplies that strength. Yeah, exactly. So, so what happens is if you give your strength to a virtuous woman and she gives you five sons yep. and their quivers, their arrows in your quiver. That's right. What, what's happened, you've given your strength to a woman and she's multiplied that strength. Mm -hmm. If you dissipate that strength, uh, like the prodigal son spending all the money on, on right. harlots, that was the old school method of dissipation. But with pornography, we can dissipate a lot more and a lot farther. Yeah, d d and it has. And then, then the video games are the same thing. I always tell people, they'll say video games aren't masculine. You are wrong. Video games are about as masculine as anything. And that's their problem. They're masculine in their design, just not in their product. It is a bunch of guys get together, they develop skills, and they conquer worlds. That is it's, masculine. Right. But it's not that in its design. And so it takes your desire for dominion, for conquest, for building, shaping, culture, all that stuff. And it aims it to something that doesn't benefit others, ultimately. Right. Um, and, and so we have video games, we have pornography, uh, we've got the metaverse around the corner now, everything trying to take male nature out of this world. And that's because evil patriarchs don't want powerful men. That's why Pharaoh kills, uh, eventually kills, he tries to pacify uh, the Israelites, but then he says, all right, we're just gonna kill the firstborn sons. Right. We're gonna kill them. And that's patriarchs, and he knows that they are, they could t topple them. Together, they could rebel and topple them. And that's, you see the spiritual war, sometimes like straight up said by our governmental officials and different professors and cultural figures that what they're trying to do is uh, destroy the family. Uh, so, but that's why they focus on the man, because as the man goes, so goes the household. Thank you.